I'm Xander Wendon, and I would like to talk about the ocean. There are three zones of the ocean. The sunlight zone, twilight zone, and the midnight zone. Sunlight zone is the hottest because it gets the most sunlight. The twilight, the twilight zone is in the middle, and the midnight zone is the coldest. The weather over the ocean is usually windy, but sometimes it has rain. I learned that Mount Everest isn't the biggest mountain. The mountain that is the biggest is underwater. I also learned that there are five oceans. The Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Southern Ocean, and the Indian Ocean. There are oceans all over the world. 70% of the world is covered with oceans. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. The Pacific Ocean is on both sides of the equator. When I go to the beach, I swim the Pacific Ocean. Now, I'm gonna go dive into the ocean. Time to go. Whoa, the ocean is like so, I don't know, blue and clear. Ooh, let me dive deeper. I wanna see what's on the ocean floor. Whoa, I see a bobfish. Let me tell you some facts about them. Blobfish. They live to 2,000 to 4,000 feet below the ocean surface, like I am right now. Have barely any muscles or bones because they will get crushed in the midnight zone. Not very active. Have gills to breathe underwater. Eat by opening their mouth when food floats by. Eat sea urchins and mollusks and crabs. Oh, look, there's a mollusk. Ooh, that got eaten by the blobfish. What else should I explore? Yeah! Now it's close. I almost got bitten by a barbet worm. Let me tell you some facts about barbet worms. It has two jaw pieces to grab their prey. Go up to nine feet. They're on the ocean floor in the Pacific Ocean. They eat crabs and fish. Um, just watching the barbet worm. They hide in the sand underground so they ambush their prey, like it's trying to do to me. <laughs> So now I'm gonna swim out. I might see some jellyfish. Whoa, I got so lucky. A comb jelly is, is, is you don't really see comb jellies. No, no real, they're fine. I'm gonna throw some facts about them. There's only a few. Not a jellyfish. I repeat, they are not a jellyfish. It's the jelly. Have a nerve net. They are 95% water. So it's like 95% water. I repeat, 95% water. Isn't it crazy? In the deep oceans, they glow. Don't sting. Like other jellyfish, it eats zooplankton. They're transparent so predators don't see it. They have sticky cells to grab their, the, that grab their prey. So it's like slime. It goes out and sticks and puts in their mouth. I'm going to go explore some coral reefs. I got to go up to the sunlight zone. Almost there. Here. Now I'm gonna. Ooh, I see some coral, coral reef over there. Ooh, I'm on the flying one now. Oh, here it is. I see some red algae. Let me tell you some facts about them. One plant in the ocean is red algae. There are six thousand species of red algae. They are used in foods. They are harder than most algae, so it won't break under the pressure of waves. I see something green up ahead. I don't know what color it is. I just see something red. Let's swim to it. I'm on the floor again. I gotta go. I may almost, I made it. There is, there's some kelp. It's a kelp forest. Let me tell you some facts about kelp. Another plant is kelp. It is one of the fastest living things on the, in the ocean. It has air, an air bladder to float to get sunlight. It's skinny for the currents to go around it. Oh, see something. Oh, it's just seagrass. Yes, they're really important. They live in shallow waters because they need sunlight. They are flowering plants. They provide food and habitat for 70% of seagrass. That is very important. A very important fact. 
Oh, I see something in the water. Ah, oh, it's a trash plastic bag. I'm gonna throw it on this island to get away from the ocean. <sighs> Ooh, that was a good one. That's a, something that would damage my by the ocean. A pollution, plastic, and other trash, and overfishing. Overfishing means fishing out too much fish out of the ocean. That means your fish are in danger of becoming extinct. And there will be too much algae in the ocean. Too much algae is bad for the ocean because it blocks sunlight. And coral will get pale and die. Pollution means chemicals are in the ocean. One, I'm saying one example is people using spray to kill bugs. Trash in the ocean causes animals to get stuck in and be injured. Whoa, punch that bottle. I almost got, I almost got stuck in and be injured. Sometimes it happens to animals. We can save the ocean by reusing water bottles and straws and other items that can be reused. We can buy sustainable seafood and turn off the lights and drive electric cars. I'm going to tell you some fun facts about the ocean. 95% of the ocean hasn't been explored. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of animals we don't know about. No fine, soon will be 0% of the ocean that hasn't been explored. I'll take a long time. I guess the sun will explode that time. There are more artifacts in the ocean than any museum in the world. Over 70% of the air we breathe is produced by the ocean. Crazy, right? Thank you for watching. Hope you had a lot of fun learning about the ocean. Bye-bye.